Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com. Today we're taking a look at Darkstalker RAM for T-Mobile Galaxy S4 SGH M919. And if you're interested in actually downloading and installing this RAM, click on the link down below and I'll bring you to my article with all the files and a little bit more detail on this RAM. So in this RAM, it packs a lot of stuff. I like this. This is one of my favorite TouchWiz RAMs for my Galaxy S4 so far. <clears throat> um, so first thing, uh, let's dive into settings. First things first, uh, more about device. And you're running on Darkstalker S4 version 3. And you may have noticed while we were diving into settings, all the um, font is changed. All the settings fonts is changed. So as you can see, all of it's changed. Here it's all changed. Everywhere it's changed. Um, if we go into the browser, it is changed as well. So I did try it. All right, let me try my Wi-Fi. And then should change. Oh, it's, I actually don't have to turn my Wi-Fi. Let me turn that back off. Um, as you can see, all the font is changed. It's not your regular um, rounded font. It's different. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it is <laughs> it is different. Um, you also get some pretty cool apps. Um, one of my favorite is Multi Window Manager. So by default, if you go into here, oh, if you actually go into Multi Window, you tap on Edit, and that one is modified. So no, um, don't mind that one. But um, you only get your native apps. So only the native apps that were pre-installed onto the Galaxy S4 TouchWiz. Those are the only apps you can use for TouchWiz. But what this um, modification app does, it modifies that so you can actually use other apps. So let's say um, right now it says dis disable packages. Let's say I want to do camera. I want to use that as multi-window. Um, I want to use calculator as multi-window. And I want to use um, um, CPU Spy Plus and that, right? So I'm going to save it. Reboot my device. And after that, you'll see I'll be able to use those apps for multi-window. So I'll be right back after this reboots. Okay, so we are back. Now if we go into multi-window, edit, you'll see all the apps I selected. So I'll actually be able to use those as multi-window. So let's, I'll show you an example. So camera, I'll use camera and calculator at the same time. So let me go and tap on camera. Oh, um, let's tap done. Um, now let's tap on camera. All right, camera's working now. Now let me go and select multi-window. Oh, actually, um, let me try Let me do calculator first and then camera. So we'll do calculator first, and then we'll do camera. So it works at the same time. There you go. So you have to do that first, or camera. It goes away in camera, multi-window. So as you can see, you can do both at the same time. Go and do your calculations, take a couple pictures, <laughs> having a little bit of fun, and uh, doing uh, making your uh, head burn, <laughs> burn or whatever, run at the same time. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like that modification. Very useful if you have a lot of um, applications that you're not able to use. Um, you can actually use them. Um, you also get CPU Spy uh, Plus for free. Um, I'm pretty sure you can download this um, just from the directly from the Play Store but it does come pre-installed. So you can take a look at your CPU and where it is majority of the time. So as you can see for 32 seconds, um, for 36.7%, uh, 36 it was at 15.66 megahertz. Um, and as you can see the rest, it just gives you information about your CPU, uh, which can be useful if you're into CPU. Um, I'm pretty into CPU, for majority for computers, but um, overclocking and all that. Um, you also get a uh, pop-up browser, which is pretty cool. So if you tap on pop-up browser and do that, uh, web page isn't available just because I have uh, my Wi-Fi turned off and my 4G is off. Um, but you can use your web page um, right here. You know, a nice pop-up browser. And if you tap on home, it stays there. If I make it smaller, I can change it where I can put it wherever I want. See, I can put it right there. I can go and do whatever I want. So that's nice if you uh, do a lot of browsing and you can watch your media or, you know, you can do whatever you really want. Um, you also get TubeMate, which I believe you can download YouTube apps directly to your phone, which I really won't show you because I um, believe it's against YouTube rules now. They changed it. Um, you also get a nice blue toggle theme. So it is pretty much blue everywhere, but he did put... Uh, specifically for uh, blue for the Wi-Fi, as I can tell as much. So everywhere, all the toggles are blue. Um, as you can see, the settings right here. Um, right here is all blue. Um, little icons up there are all modified to be nice and blue. Um, I prefer blue, one of my favorite colors, as you guys do know. I mention it a lot in videos. Um, so I really like that. That's my favorite part of that. Um, you also get nice um, wallpapers. Wallpapers, wallpapers. <laughs> so if we tap on wallpapers, you can take a look at a couple of them. So you get a nice giant stacker wallpapers. There you go. So there are a couple of them. There are actually a lot of them. So I'm just going to go and scroll by really quick. You can just take a glance at the bottom thumbnails. And there you go. So you can see and just keeps going, keeps going. And there are a ton of them. So there are a ton of these wallpapers. So you'll probably find one that you really do enjoy. 
Um, also, with this, I've noticed it's optimized to be much more snappier and smoother. Um, he did remove all the bloatware. I don't see as much lag as I usually do with stock TouchWiz. Um, so I don't see any lag, especially with ty uh, typing with a keyboard. There isn't that much of a lag as I usually get from TouchWiz. So that's a big bonus. Um, I hate that lag from TouchWiz with stock TouchWiz. That really makes me mad. It was in the Galaxy S3, still in the Galaxy S4. Um, they still haven't fixed that prior. Um, you also get four-way reboot, so if you do step on restart, you get reboot, hot reboot, download, and recovery. Um, and that basically almost um, does almost all the main features I want to talk about. Um, so be sure to try this ROM. Be, le be sure to let me know what you think about this ROM after you do try it out. Um, and be sure to you know um, explore more options and more features other than what I've mentioned in this video. Be sure to you know explore once you have installed it and uh, go and look on the forum, see what else he's added, uh, look at the updated ROMs and all that, so you can actually get the full experience and the latest experience for the start stocker ROM for your Galaxy S4 T-Mobile. I'll links down below for the actual ROM. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner, as that does really help me out a lot. Sure you support me and uh, you really want to subscribe because I'm going to have weekly ROM reviews for Galaxy S4 and not just necessarily T-Mobile but there's going to be other carriers as well in my channel for Android. Um, so be sure to subscribe and uh, don't forget to follow me, like me and add me on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus so you can be notified when I do upload my next